All right, so let's take a look at the first example. It reads, calculate the elemental atomic mass of magnesium if the naturally occurring isotopes are 24, 25, and 26 magnesium. 24 magnesium has an isotopic abundance of 78.7%, 25 of 10.13%, and 26 of 11.17%, and I give the masses of each. Like all the problems you do here, what you want to do first is set up a table um, with as many rows as you have isotopes. So I have three isotopes, so make three rows here and make sure I have a column heading on them. The first column is just going to be the isotope name. This is just to help us keep track of things. It's not important in our calculations, but it's going to help us keep track of things. So let's say I have 24 magnesium, 25 magnesium, and 26 magnesium. Okay, that's pretty nice. Then my next column is going to be the atomic weight, which I'm just going to abbreviate AMU for atomic mass unit. It's just the mass of that isotope, and I just have to match them up from the chart. So, like, I know that 24 mg has a mass of 23.98504. That 25 is 24.9. Oops, this is 25. 24.98584. And 26 is 25.98259. Okay, so I just got those from my chart, which was given in the problem. And the same thing, I need the fractional percentage of each, which is again just given in the problem. I just need to make sure to match them up with the right uh, isotope. If I don't, then I'm going to get the wrong numbers. So these, again, just coming from the original problem. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this number by this number to give me whatever this is. Let's say when I multiply these together, I get 18.87. When I multiply this by this, I get my last box, which turns out to be 2.53. Same thing. Multiply these two across, and I get... 2.90. Now, these numbers here are just my result. S U L T. That looks terrible. Let's try that again. R E. And my results, I can just add them together vertically to get my answer. So let's see, I get a zero. Carry the one, 3.424. So I get an answer of the average for magnesium of 24.3. And that's my final answer. So again, for all these problems, I need to set up a grid, multiply across, and then add down to get my answer.